Team Weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone. Pretty nice day outside. It got a tad bit chilly. Yeah, and part of the reason is because the sky cleared out. Of course, earlier this morning, we had the cloudy skies. And then as we went into the afternoon, the sunshine came back. But the same clear skies that brought our nice afternoon are going to bring kind of a chilly night by the time we get into the evening and also into the morning or later on this morning going to be kind of a chilly start to the morning right now 62 degrees there in Mathisfield we topped out at a high today in the low 80s topped out at 80 degrees exactly our low was at 62 the warmer low of course because we had all the cool front move through and our average was 81 and 56 record 97 and it has been as cold as 37 on this day in 1917 we were at 62 earlier got up to 80 today now again right back at 62 but as we go into the next few days it's going to be another nice day pretty much tomorrow also on thursday i'm expecting another day much like today nicer but rain chances are going to come back we've got the latest on hurricane michael and a big shot of fall that's on the way got a few flood warnings to tell you about first that one down there that was in effect for the lando river now not in effect for junction is still flowing downstream towards Mason. And part of the reason is because it's fallen below flood stage by now. Although up in Coke County, we still have that flood warning. That runs until 1130 on Wednesday. And it's because we're seeing moderate flooding climbing up to 18.2 feet, which isn't on the fifth highest level or anything like that. But it's enough that's going to cause some minor lowland ranch flooding, maybe flooding some equipment and uh, shutting down some of those low water crossings there in Coke County. Of course, all that came from all the rain that we saw over the last 24 hours. You can see the radar replay there. Had those strong thunderstorms that were out in West Texas or in the Permian Basin, rather, that moved into the Contra Valley overnight, although those kind of weakened as they got towards San Angelo, and that's why we didn't see any severe weather locally we did have a few tornado warnings and a reported tornado in McCamey this is a picture of it although that picture is just of a funnel cloud there was a reported tornado in McCamey yesterday a very brief one didn't cause any damage look at all the rain that fell especially over Crockett County and also into Glasscock County all that is running down the North Concho River currently having those low water crossings having issues there in Sterling County and all the rain that fell in Junction as well getting up towards eight inches there south of Junction here's the good news See this little line right here that is a reinforcing cool front that's going to move through and that's what's going to send us down to the 50s by morning 62 currently in san angelo is 58 out there in eden and menard 59 in ozona and 59 in sterling city dry air sweeping on in those dew points still in the low 50s they're going to be cooling off into the 40s by the time we get into tomorrow. And also, those winds starting to die down a little bit, but they'll kick back up out of the north as we go into tonight and that cold front passes. Even some frost advisories up there in the panhandle, that is some cool air. We aren't going to get the coolest part of it. We're going to get a nice shot of it. Dry air sitting overhead. That means nice weather for a while until this next system comes in. That is Tropical Storm Sergio in the Pacific. All of that moisture is going to be sweeping in as we go into the weekend, potentially bringing back the rain chances for the weekend. In. Meanwhile, our eyes continue to be on Hurricane Matthew. Here's the, or sorry, Hurricane Michael. Here's the latest on Michael. Matthew was last year. This is Michael. 220 miles south southwest of Panama City, category three storm. Winds are at 125 miles per hour, and they've got a hurricane warning in effect for Panama City, which is where it's going to make landfall tomorrow, potentially as a category four storm, the strongest storm that has hit that portion of Florida potentially on a record. It's going to be a very strong storm with a lot of damage. So if you have family in that area, you need to be checking up on them over the next day or so. Now, tonight, though, here, going to be calm. 48 degrees in some spots, although we'll be at 50 here in San Angelo. Normally should be at 56 in the record. 36 in 1990. We aren't getting in the 30s tomorrow, but we may later in the forecast because we're going to have those rain chances come in. Get outside the next two days, though, before those rain chances come in for the weekend. Right now, I put in a 40% chance, and then we get two cool fronts behind that. One of them is going to bring us that fall air for Monday. Look at the high 57, the lows in the lower 40s. We may pop down into the upper 30s Tuesday morning in some spots. That's going to be a nice shot of fall air that we haven't seen just yet. But tomorrow, going to be a beautiful day. Get out and enjoy it. Maybe before you go to work, hit up the park or something. It's beautiful oh, out there. Oh, that'd be great, especially before it there. gets colder. 57, you yeah. said? The winter will be here before we know it. You're absolutely right. There's only barbed wires between us and the cool air, and it's going to sweep on through eventually. Absolutely. All right, thanks, Josh. And coming up after the break, take a look at new products revealed by Google today. We'll have